My Goblin Aquavac 620, technically Mark II, is done and ready to show you the improvements I have made and the changes we have made and all the other bits that I had to do to get this working and looking really, really good. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, welcome to another one of those projects where I basically just use the one that I bought after the one that I was given. Because, yeah, this is basically the one that I bought from Mr. Pneumatic Rule 29 on eBay because it has to be. I shall explain why in a minute. But we shall do as usual starting with the tools now this is the hose and end from my mark one tool kit which had this bit separate this one had the mark two who was snapped at the cuff see the things i've learned after the first video but yeah my hose came up really really nicely in the washing machine very good indeed the one couldn't tell you i've I cleaned all four of them because I need one of them for a Goblin Rio. So they all got done. And the floor tool came out really, really nicely indeed. Little bit of corrosion still. And occasionally the brushes seem to pop out of the little tray. But it's not great that I can do about that. They are cheap, cheap floor heads anyway. But pretty cool. So yeah, there are the small tools. I still haven't gone and got an upholstery brush or a crevice tool. I just don't think we need it for this video. So this is the result and this top piece is actually the only thing left from the original one. You see it's got the original Goblin ratings plate before they got shop vacked up. And yeah that's because the one on the donor machine was split. So this is on here and everything else is the other one. That's because the clips vary dramatically between the two. And obviously I couldn't keep the rusty base because its clips were on the top of the other machine. And obviously I can't take these off of this base. So yeah, I've ended up with a Mark II or the shop back era. The motor base plate is branded shop vac. So shop vac owned Goblin at this time. Where to start next? Well, let's get it opened up and we'll start from the inside out. If we pop the three latches, it's all cleaned up really, really nicely. I have to say first, before we get any further, I kept the MK plug, very nice MK safety plug there. And I actually found this rolling around under the TV stand. So I popped it on here. It looks like it's from an Electrolux and we shall take off the motor housing itself which is spotless because well, the one that i got from mr shanks was i've put this up really close look there is this has been used domestically anyway i do think so there is that bit under the filter which comes off like so this came up so well so again i'm going to go really close so you can see just how clean on that side anyway this side's a little bit stained but clean that is and that is nice to have this is the foam that should sit around there but i've got to take it off in a minute because I, I think it was restricting airflow a little bit but it's the original one the the glue there is a bit weird but it went through so did this the washing machine very very nicely indeed so that is now like sponge it was very hard before and yeah if i ever do any wet cleaning who knows You'll then notice the bin. Not only does a nil fist bag, the ones that I've had for a while, literally fit bang on. So if you have an Aquavac, that will be the same part on all of them. The cheapo nil fist bags are what you want. But in order to get it, you know, non-rusty, it has been wire wheeled, crusted, 
and then hammer write it in the same goal that I do the 612s with. And as you can see, it's not a pretty job or an even job, but it, and I made sure that the bottom was quite flooded because I didn't want there to be any pinholes in this circumference. It is airtight, and I do like to think that it's actually made it a bit stronger too. Wasn't the only bit of paint that I did though. If we take this part off, this bottom bit was also looking a bit not nice. So again, it was masked off to that lip there. It wasn't even a clean join because I decided not to care. So it's good that you can't see it very well. And yeah, that entire bottom lip and the underside has been sprayed black. So it just takes your eye off of it. It's a shame that it's the Mark II anyway. Because, quite frankly, the Mark I had brighter paint, and I like that. I've also taken to fitting the dolly this way round in all the promo materials. It's the other way round, but I think this will make it tip less, because obviously you're putting it forward onto that bit there. It's still rackety and clonkety and eh, a goblin aquavac for sure. Put that in there. I'll leave that in there. We'll pop this filter on. You, you can... And it does recommend that you use this bagless just like this, but you know, there's probably not that many of these original Goblin Aquavac inner filters left because I think they only did it on one of them. I don't know if this is probably, this is probably the Mark II version. I don't actually know. It probably is because it came with it. So they only did it for like a bit of the run anyway. And you know full well that it's probably a good idea to use it wet with that filter because it'll stop all the bits from going up and since these were generally sold for about 55 60 pounds and trashed in short order yeah i can understand why there aren't many left so ooh. also this is why i think that it has little use the wheels look are ever so ever so clean you go focus yeah there we go ever so clean look you, the other ones were worn down so much you couldn't see that little ridge on the moulding. So yeah, but wherever this was, it's had a pampered life. Let's plug it in and turn it on. Good, isn't it? Not actually. Yeah, so now it stinks of hammerite still, and I, I I keep thinking it's burning, but I don't think it is. Um, yeah, it's not actually the original Goblin motor from either this donor one, which was broken anyway, and my one, which was working, and then I put it all back together, turned it on, which is why I'm still a little bit paranoid, and it was a flash of blue, and all the power to the house went off, and probably what happened to the other motor as well and um, i thought it was a suppressor but i took it apart and i don't think it was now i'm a bit paranoid and they're actually sat over there this is the motor and it fits really well from a vax my old vax new wave 1100 <laughs> And it works really, 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 really well. Let me pull back a bit and we'll do some vacuuming because, of course, yes, you could use this domestically if you were really silly. I will edit the audio down after a couple of seconds. Yes, it is this now! I mean, these things have an admittedly well-deserved reputation for being insanely noisy, but 
That is mainly due to the cheap construction. It's literally this plastic and that's it. And even with the Vax motor, which sounded a lot different in the Vax new wave, and it's been in the shed for a couple of years, which is why it, it sounds a little bit iffy, but it's got some power. I mean, these tools are utterly, utterly terrible. Although, again, I do like this floor tool. It, it glides very nicely indeed. And, I mean, if you can live with the noise, crikey, this vacuum cleaner would literally do you forever. I mean, well, it wouldn't. It would have burnt out within a few years because they were cheap and nasty. But, hey, it is very, very good. It's even more of a monster with, you know, 60 or 80, whatever they are, millimetre tools as well. As well as toy cars, well, it should. I mean, I haven't really got rubble and brick dust and bits of breeze block and whatnot to demonstrate with. So we shall try shredded paper. And crikey, is this thing clunky? I have taken the bag out as well. Seems a bit pointless. Ready? Not for airplay. Full, full. Such airflow though, it is nuts. I mean, the Vax motor probably helps quite a lot. Yeah, there we go. There's the big ball that we stuffed through. Yeah, completely, not stuffed at all, obviously, but full of paper, which may as well stay in there and go in the recycling in a minute. Or should we pick it all up again? I mean, I don't know. It's on the floor again now, isn't it? Oh dear, oh dear. Okay then. Tell you what we will do, because it did clog up once, and then by the time I'd taken the whole part to, you know, push it through, it cleared itself. But the difference is quite something. <laughs> my neighbours too much to perhaps want to clean the car out with it for a couple of hours. I think that might, even with my lovely neighbours who love me very much, probably land with a brick in my windscreen and rightly so. But it is a mental nuts powerhouse and it's actually given me food for thought because I've had a couple of Aquavacs before but obviously I've never actually gone full 
Beko go stupid, make it as mint as possible on them. And I think I've been missing out because yes, it's loud. Yes, it's not terribly nice to use. And you know, I have covered it in paint and rust remover so much that it, it might now last. We might use it wet one day. Who knows? We could, but they're probably quite rare because they either just died and got thrown away or, and I know that a couple of collectors have them, but the buckets are rusty and they are unusable. Well, mine is very nice. I mean, I've used it a little bit around the house while it's been sat on the side. And yeah, it does pick stuff up really well, but just not very nicely, let's say. But as a DIY rough and tumble vacuum, pretty flipping good. So there we go, really. My Aquavac 620, or Goblin Bulldog as these were known. All done. Don't quite know what I'm going to do with it, but it's done. And that is all that matters. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And if you ever have a need to pick up three entire bins of shredded paper, yeah, recommended. I, and probably this, will see you soon. Maybe we could do the church with it. Blimey, they come running to see what the heck I was doing in there, wouldn't they? I, and probably this, will see you soon. Bye-bye.